This is going to be a comparison of the Cold Steel Finwolf and the Enzo Burke 75, both very nice folding bushcraft knives. While doing research, I came across a lot of comments and people would ask, why would you spend four times as much money on the Enzo Burke 75 when you can get the Cold Steel Finwolf for $30? So I'm going to try to answer that. What do you get for four times more money? Well, it's like anything. You buy an instrument, it's actually little things. It's not big things. And the more you pay, the less you get. So the difference between a $1,000 instrument and a $5,000 instrument is the same difference as a $5,000 instrument and a $20,000 or $30,000 instrument. So it's going to be the same with knives. So what do you get? Right off the bat, you get a centered blade. The Cold Steel Thin Wolf does not have a centered blade. So you're paying for that. There's no wobble in the Enzo Burke. The Cold Steel Thin Wolf has a little bit, it's very slight, but it does have a little wobble. It's not bad, but it is there. You're getting a steel liner versus a plastic liner, which probably has something to do with the fact that the Fin Wolf wobbles. That steel liner is just a lot stronger. You get a much deeper pocket clip. The pocket clip on the cold steel isn't very deep and sticks out quite a bit. Another issue that comes up on these is you do not have to remove the thumb, thumb stud on this to sharpen it, and it does not get in the way when you're using the knife. Some people actually take the thumb stud off, which you can do with a screwdriver, because you can't actually use this part of your blade because the thumb stud's in the way, and you can't sharpen the full edge of your knife. So that cuts down is it close to half an inch, making the edge on this not much shorter than the thin wolf? You're getting better handle material. <clears throat> this cold steel thin wolf handle, this, it's a very hard plastic. I think it's called Grivex, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. You know, it is a hard plastic, but it's plastic. This micarta handle is much nicer than this plastic. Now, I paid a little bit more for this micarta, which is smooth, polished smooth. It's very, very nice and a dark green. The other thing is you're getting better steel. This is D2 steel. This is a very hard steel. This is Oz 8 steel, so it's a little softer. Probably going to tend to roll rather than chip. This will probably tend to chip rather than roll. So you can customize this. Um, you can easily undo these Torx screws and put different handles on. If an, a blade breaks, you can easily replace just the blade. You can on this one as well, but it's a little bit not as user friendly. I mean, you pretty much got to you know tear this knife apart and get these pins out. It's not as easy, and you can't really customize this at all. This one you can get birch handles, you can get different pocket clips. This is handmade as well, from what I understand. So why do I still carry the Fen Wolf? Well, there's a, some reasons. One, I can guarantee this lock, this triad lock, is stronger than this liner lock. And I just know that intuitively from the way it feels and also from the research I've done. This is one of the strongest locks on the market. I'm not going to worry about beating up this knife. This was $30. This was almost $150. I'm not going to be worried about losing this knife. So I've been carrying both of these. I carry this one around my neck. I carry this one in my pocket. Final thoughts. Both of these knives are great value for what you get.